Zimbabwe Farmers Union, the leading farmer representative body in Zimbabwe. We value empowering the young. Through smart partnerships, we turn ideas into successful businesses, facilitating linkages with strategic stakeholders like the UNDP. Ndwenzi Brighton Chomrema, city of young farm. Ndaka enda uchikoro banda gumira form 6 wa beriki wa shaya mari. Banda na jopo nyongu wa waponja and sina gukche. Then the Bananza program I did was a fit for life program. I ran as a TFU. Taka, Chipawi was under Twitty Marichi. Then the Bananza was out of Franga Ripo, Franga Ripo, Babaet or Koja, Pano Nepa. Then in the Banda, we are a background to Panda Tanga who created a seat and that is what Tifan Kushande, same groups fit for life, but my groups are never going to give up. But I'm a group of Arupara, Banda Chaga, another way. Business Tools, business to be unique. So, how to be unique? unique. market, right? Last year, product I saw one five years product Then the Vanda Pinda market, Kanda Pinda market, and Shabuda was the Pinda Batamin product. Then the supply in India constant and that is and Shabudam system. Then my market Sangu is not at Kurim and Watana, that is a gas supply of Gusaka one is now. You can't see Marondi and the supply of OK Marondera, Opfe Hotel, Chicken in Marondera, a Rusawi School, Marondera, Peter's, Peter's girls and boys. Then the Sari supermarket in the supply of that. Then the Vanda Vandu Vandenda Quara, the Quarendo Bupa Brands Fresh, the Bal Soap, the Duvan Vandino. My market is angry white. You know, lettuce, broccoli, cauliflower, baby marrow, gem squash, butternut. Eh, my papers is a green, red, yellow. Then red onion. This is what you Pakutanga na yeye mandega, but through pakutinda kwenye ku my business fresher kozi zakawanda and I need to go and a few. Eh. Shakanda pas simba kushikanda tuni one mukumano tuno shanda na pima nendi wantu nusu badara every month end. Pama records ndo shinje kutanga chata kati tiskwa kuti any business you have to keep records. Saga ndi ma books anga about ndi nere cash flow one kweta nere production ma daily activities atini get chida then data sales journal. We shaka ndi ma business ili dingadi na mentiona kuti. I found the Ponyo and Wagum, but Paris is in Shona View Kumbay, Berkwan Drugend. I believe with it, I will be a great man. I'm an innovator and a young farmer. I'm a set of few young farmer, and I'm into in smart integrated organic farming systems. That is, we integrate a number of things in our farming systems i.e. I can say ICT technology, which is IoT sensor technology integrated to help us remotely monitor and control the various variable parameters that are in found or that are involved in our systems that we develop. Here we are at an aquaponic system setup. I can say it is called the Femi aquaponic system setup, which is the integration of fish farming and hydroponics and there is a vermiculture element in it which is the vermiculture is the growing of worms or the farming of worms aquaponics is the integration of fish farming and hydroponics whereby we are saying we are growing our crops in a soilless environment using fish effluent we are using fish water from the fish pond which is rich in fish nutrients like when you feed your fish and the excrete their waste into the water, that water becomes rich in ammonia, which is then good for the plants to use for their growth. So if you take that water from the fish pond into these growbeds which you are seeing here, 
the uh, ammonia rich water is changed into nitrates and nitrates with natural bacteria that occurs in these globes. That becomes good nutrients for the plants for the, to grow. In that process, the plants are able to absorb the nutrients, thereby filtering the water, and the water goes back to the fish pond purified. In aquaponics, given that we are not using soil and the nutrients are readily available, it gives you the, 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 the opportunity or the leverage to grow your crops four times as much as compared to that one who's growing in a, in a soil-based system. The nutrients are already being supplied, already dissolved and ready for uptake, and hence crop density can be increased. And also if you look behind me, there's a vertical system whereby you are saying you are using vertical space to grow your crops. So instead of just using the horizontal space, you also have an option to make your space very productive and using the vertical space. We are also producing a variety of crops ranging from like salad vegetables, herbs, those ones we are selling, we are doing direct selling. We have a Facebook page where people can place orders and we deliver in and around the Arara and Marondera. We also participate in local farmers market whereby we are going to Mastog Market which is in Geographia where we sell our produce. We are doing value addition to our herbs and they come as dried packaged spices which are available for consumption. As a young farmer, and given that we've got a new idea and that's something that doesn't make sense to people and are saying I don't want to use soil but I want to do farming, it's difficult for people to say maybe we have this much funding for you, let us give you this fund for you to upscale your production. So it was really difficult for me to get funding but I had to prove by concept saying that for people for me to get funding, I had to really do the actual thing on the ground, action first, so that people could actually see and believe. That's what I did. And from there on, after I did my prototyping in 2012 to 2016, that's in 2017 and 2018, that's when I managed to have a breakthrough where I managed to, to participate in local competitions where, where they were looking for innovative entrepreneurs or agro entrepreneurs and I managed to get funding for my startup. With this Vemi Aquaponics system, we have managed to set up more than eight sites which are functional. We have two sites in Mbari and in Mbari we are mostly focusing on utilizing the small space that is available there for people to get something that is fresh, that is, that is organic and we are also taking the advantage of the waste that is produced at Mbari Musika to use in our Vemi composting units. We have sites in Marondera where we are setting up two commercial sites which, we, which are a work in progress. We have sites in, in Goromonzi, Makumbi. We have sites in Kadoma where there is a family there, a family of six, which is, which is, which is enjoying the use of this technology in their backyard to produce vegetables for their daily consumption and also here in the avenues. Hi, my name is Angie, Zerefu Young Farmer. I have been a member of Zerefu for the past three years. When I first got to Zerefu, I was just interested in joining a farmer's group. So what I found there was that there, there's, a farmers, uh, there's a young farmer's club and I joined that and there are so many young farmers who are doing amazing things in Zimbabwe and I was inspired to actually start going into value addition. The problem was where I am right now, I would grow my vegetables but I could not get the market or right prices at the market. So eventually I started drying my vegetables. I do not have a solar dryer so I use um, the natural sun. I just cut my vegetables up and then dry them. I am a farmer who actually is interested in growing field crops mainly. What I do is that I will have my tobacco, I will have my maize, I also do um, velvet beans and I also do groundnut. But I've actually seen that, right, especially right now, right now we're in August, maize um, is being sold at $3, $4 a bucket. And the green millies are being sold at dollar for eight cobs. But what I've realized is that I've got my maize right here, which I've done value addition. This is cooked cobs 
and then I will package them and sell this for $2.50. The comparison is that when you've got eight cobs for a dollar, that's maybe, I don't know, 12 and a half cents each. And it's compared to one and a half cobs, which go into this and I'll sell this for $2.50. I've actually been growing um, groundnuts, the groundnuts. I do fried peanuts. I also do the cooked peanuts and I dry them and I package them as well. I also do velvet beans for K2 seeds as a forage as a forage crop but I feed my cattle I also feed my goats with the forage crop and the um, tobacco as you know I'm a tobacco farmer so I take that to the floors I also have a little bit of a garden as you can see background I don't know if you can see that but um, I've got a garden where I do vegetables for my household consumption also I sell at the local market and I also dry the uh, the vegetables okay. as a young farmer I've discovered that the old ideas or the ideas of the older people actually work in day-to-day uh, -day life as you know as a farmer you wait for the season you wait for the rainy season and then you harvest and then you go to the market but I've discovered that there are also other things from the land as you can see I live right in the middle of the bush so I have learned to actually go into the bush get my herbal teas package them and sell them though that has actually helped me in buying chemicals for my crops for my field crops or my garden crops it has also helped me improve my cash flow for all the for the other things that I need for my day-to-day -day living the Zimbabwe Farmers Union fostering climate smart agriculture and value addition